In terms of the questions of how has the economy impacted or COVID impacted our ability to operate, it's a complete catastrophe. Um, in the communities that we work with, lockdown means just as likely to die from starvation as to die from any kind of disease that might impact the areas um, where the communities that we are active in um, are really, really struggling to get by. Um, I mean, my, I mostly just have a question, which is really, what, what can the ECB do for our partner countries? I mean, we, whenever we talk to ministers of finance from Ghana and from other countries, they are incredibly jealous of the financial firepower that communities like the European Union can effectively utilize to combat this crisis, which they are to a degree excluded from and have to go to the IMF cap in hand. Is there any way that we can transfer some of this huge amount of economic activity and wealth that we are pumping into our own economies, whether or not that's being transferred onward by the banks who are benefiting, to, uh, benefiting from it to the world's poorest countries is a critical question for us at Oxfam. And we're, we're looking at all potential avenues in order to try and mitigate some of the worst economic impacts of these crises. Um, I mean, one area that we're really particularly interested in is the development of a stable token by the uh, by the ECB for you know a European digital currency, um, which could uh, stabilize currency risk when it comes to direct cash transfers to uh, to poor communities. Uh, this is an area that we've had to look into expanding quite drastically, um, as the more traditional ways of helping these communities is basically impossible due to lockdown measures, restrictions on travel. Um, and then barriers to trade that have emerged uh, in the interim. So just getting things to poor people is becoming more and more difficult. Um, and then finally, I mean, you know, on the climate issue, I agree with the previous speakers in that if you believe you can be climate neutral these days, you might as well be a member of a murder-suicide cult, in my personal opinion. Um, but there are also other issues at stake. I mean, is there a way to discipline market actors who are not behaving with the best global interests right now, whether it comes to price stability or more broadly? And one example of this is European investment firms and, and banks that are still uh, basically extracting wealth through debt servicing from the world's poorest countries who are also benefiting from the subsidies that you are providing to these companies within Europe. Um, thank you very much.